Although public schools have never been completely off limits to commercial interest, until recently the thinking has been that schools belong to the taxpayers who support them and the millions of children who attend them. Given the size and spending power of the youth market, all that has begun to change. Marketers can no longer wait for the end of the school day to target children with commercial messages. Young people are target marketed by advertising from the minute they wake up in the morning and turn on the television to watch cartoons, on the streets, at music festivals. This is the most desirable market niche in the world. This is where companies build their brand loyalty for the rest of, uh, of this person's life. So they target market to young people in many, many different ways. Pepsi drinker for life. Pepsi, Generation Next. It's very difficult to aggregate children in one place and market to them. Uh, schools are where you can find children. You can find them there every day. You can find them there most of the year. And that's where the money is for advertisers. Advertisers want to get into schools because kids buy things. Kids are a source of great profits. Classrooms, in a sense, represent the last frontier, another marketplace that hasn't been captured. It's something that I think vendors have always wanted to do, is to get into the schools, but we left the door open a crack a few years ago, and we began to let them in, and now you've got a, you know, it's a flood that has occurred as a result of just leaving that door open, a little crack, the door's wide open now, and it's like having a tiger by the tail. It can get out of control very quickly. So now if you bring commercialism into the schools, which before this were commercial free zones. Once you bring it in, that's the final step. Now there's not a minute of the day, except when children are sleeping, that they are not exposed to commercial messages. Essentially what's happening here is children are being described as objects whose primary purpose is to be manipulated for some benefit to an adult. Not necessarily an adult who cares about them, it might be a shareholder, it might be a product manager, but not necessarily an adult who has their best interests at heart. Commercialism in the schools, it's just making the parents' job that much harder. They are surrounded by the advertising and the commercialism in the world outside of school. And it would be nice to think of the schools as being a place where the parent still wasn't working to safeguard them. Once ads start coming into the schools, it's hard, uh, I think, for a lot of young people and even for parents and teachers to, uh, to draw a line precisely because corporatization is so omnipresent in all aspects of young people's lives. When you see advertising placed on, on a wall of a school, uh, students are liable to think that that is the correct way to go, that this is a good product uh, for them not realizing the district is simply, you know, making some money. And I think that, you know, a school district has a, a bigger responsibility than just um, making money, that we also have to be an example to, to young people. The values and goals of education are very different than the values and goals of advertising. Um, one is asking students to look deeper to find their own answers. One is providing constant easy answers uh, and solutions. And usually that solution involves buying something. Schools should be a kind of oasis from the fast-paced commercial lifestyle that surrounds teens everywhere they go. It seems to me that it's rather cynical to suggest that teens are sold products everywhere, so why not in school? Uh, teens may be sold products everywhere. They might even enjoy being sold products everywhere. But schools are, are not about pitching to kids.